Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to these daily vlogs on the Supercars of London channel throughout June. Today I have got a super busy day, it's Monday which always means that it's crazy busy. I've got a full day of work, you're going to come along with me the whole way. I've got to pop into town and of course I'm going to have to get used to the new car that I've got this week which you would have already seen in the video yesterday. Um, but you're going to see it in more detail today and you're going to just be coming along with um, all of these videos a day in the life of what I get up to. This month is going to be really cool. Loads of fun stuff that's going on <coughs> and today it's just about getting up and uh, getting used to these daily vlogs check this out ladies and gentlemen this is the interior to the smart car which I've got for the week and um, I can assure you this is not how all of my Mondays start jumping into a brand new car but I do have a super busy morning which means I'm wearing a cap if you would have seen any times or any videos that I've been wearing a cap that is because I haven't been bothered to do my hair or I just didn't have the time. So this is the first time I'm ever starting. <laughs> Shush. My first errand to run today features going into town, going into the Watford shopping center to exchange a jumper that I bought yesterday that didn't fit me. Now listen to this and let me know whether anyone has done what I've just done here, and I suppose these daily vlogs you're definitely gonna to get to know how clumsy and stupid I am, or just how illogical I can be sometimes. So I went in and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna to have to get a large, this is a jumper, I'm gonna wear it over a t-shirt. So I tried the large on and it fit perfectly. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go out. What I normally do is I'll try something on and then I'll go and get the, exactly the same size and um, get the brand new one, one that I didn't try on. No idea why. And I was just about to change it for a large when I thought, you know what? I think I can get into a medium. I think I can get into a medium and, um, well, it'd just be a nicer fit. Anyway, I got home and it didn't fit, which is um, not surprising in the slightest. So I'm gonna have to go back to River Island and return the medium for the large, which I tried on, which fit me perfectly. So that is my first errand for the day. <laughs> have you seen anything as ridiculous as that? It fits. So it's time to lock the car and go and return this jumper. That is cool. I'm gonna go and take a picture of that actually. I could have sworn the weather forecast man <laughs> said that it was gonna be windy and rainy today and tomorrow and then it was gonna get warmer towards the end of the, the week. I'm in jeans, hoodie and a t-shirt, taking the hoodie off. It is so hot. Guess where I am? Monday morning, no one in the office. I can do whatever I want. I can have a party. So the smart car so far has been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot already in a short space of time. What I'm gonna be doing over the next few hours is filming the first video that's gonna go live yesterday, the one you would have watched, the announcement of the smart car, and um, show you a few bit of, uh, the bits and pieces, the features, and also, I'll have explained why I'm doing these daily vlogs. It's not going to be all based around what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. The focus is the supercar hunting. And now we are in June. You never know what's going to turn up in London. I am now on set, the famous set of the old people's home, with the 4.2 Prime smart car. And I'm going to be doing a sort of introduction, which you would have already watched. I don't know why I'm talking to you about that. I'm gonna be used to this traffic over the next month or so. This road is notorious at this time. I've left early. I've left at 10 to five today because I've realized that I don't need to worry about the congestion charge in this car, which is another benefit of having a car so small, but so green as well. So we're just gonna be stuck in this little bit of traffic up here. It's relatively um, slow moving, but at least it's not a standstill. I've just got on the M1. This bit of the M1 is normally very, very clear. That beep was to tell me that I'm changing lanes, which is quite a cool little feature. However, you can see the traffic is ridiculous the other way. Honestly, if I was sat in this traffic heading into London, I'd probably call it off to be honest. It's just started to rain as well. These are all telltale signs of um, a bad evening in London, but that's not stopping me today. Every single day, I'm daily vlogging, which means to begin with, I'm gonna be heading into central London. Cruising down Park Lane, and I haven't done this in ages, Rolls Royce. I have not done this in ages, and I would like to apologize 
for the fact that I haven't done this in ages. Keeping my eyes peeled, we've got BMW Park Lane there. But yeah, I can't believe I've waited this long, the 1st of June, to get back into London. We're gonna check the Dorchester because this, aha, it's gone red. Let's let this car go and see if there's anything nice parked up. Aha, aha, did you see that? Parking success. It's so small. So this is a good start. This is Paul Bailey's McLaren P1 from Horsepower Racing. He's got 70 odd cars, including this LaFerrari 918. And here comes the Instagram picture. Good start, even though it's raining. In the car and a DHL van has decided that he's gonna park there. However, my party trick, the turning circle. Oh. Is he gonna make it? That is so tight. That is the lovely thing with this city car. Woo! See you later. One idiot Parker. Can you get away with this? I think cars can get past there. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's a success? I'd say so. It's obviously much better to park like that, but I mean that's just that's just wonky. But I think it works. Who wants to see how good the turning circle is on this thing? <laughs> just did a 360 in the middle of London. But that hunt has got exciting. Look at this. Sam has just sent me this. A P1, which looks like papaya orange from Saudi Arabia. And he's telling me that it's live. Are you here? Are you live? And I just reply with what? P... I was just about to say a hunt for P2. The hunt for P1 number two begins. This is what supercar hunting is all about and why I picked June. I'm getting excited now. Where is this P1? That looks like it's going down Park Lane. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, everyone knows I'm in London. I have got four messages sending me the same picture of the McLaren P1 from Saudi. If I can get this on camera, or even myself on camera, then what a day to start daily vlogging. My eyes are open. Look at that, they all like it. Loving it. Oh. AMG SLS. No, AMG GT. Not an SLS. From Qatar. So the wonders of social media and communication. I have been notified of where the, the P1 was last seen and it was going into a car park. So we're now heading en route there now to catch up with this brand new arrival from Saudi Arabia. We're at the undisclosed location now with Sam's Four C. Just off Lockham Street. Sam left. Sam was kind enough to leave me the space for the smart car, so I just parked it in there. My R8 definitely wouldn't fit in there. Aston Martin Signet, pretty cool. Bizarre coloured Mercedes, not too bad. But yeah, not many people get to see Signets. Audi S8, 15 player. Jesus, that's expensive. And a boat, but not so much of a boat as that. So I am just go, probably going to sign off when I leave London, but at the moment I'm not going anywhere because I do want to see this P1. And am I going to see this F12 in this traffic? No. So I've lost an F12 as well. This supercar spotting is not going well. Um, camera at the ready.
Woohoo, what a success. I was not expecting that, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see when it loads. Well, 27 seconds ago I uploaded that, so it literally just happened. The perfect way to round off day two of the daily vlogs, even though this is on the first day. I am gonna confuse myself throughout this month, but hopefully you can continue on my journey of finding all of the new arrivals that come over from the Middle East. And what a fantastic start to the day. A Saudi papaya orange McLaren P1. That is, um, yeah, definitely a good way to kick off the Supercars of London daily vlogs. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm gonna end the vlog there and head home. Um, then I've got dinner and gym tonight. Tomorrow, no idea what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be more office-based stuff. I'm not gonna be out about as much, but I am going into central London again, and fingers crossed, the weather warms up. It's gonna be a stunning week in terms of weather towards the end of the week. It's gonna be t-shirt and shorts weather, so um, I better get the washing on. But I'm not gonna vlog that, so you don't need to see me do the washing. See you tomorrow, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I need to put my seatbelt on. Bye-bye. The turning circle is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. What I'm gonna do now is put the camera down and film it for you.